Hello everybody, Johnny here. Let's make a game together. For this game we will need some paper, something to write with, a ruler, some playing pieces, and some tape, and a couple of cereal boxes. Oh, and a bear. Let's get started on our board. So in this game, we're going to be making lots of shapes. And we'll need a ruler to help us with this. The first thing we want to do is to find the middle of the board. So I'm looking across the board, and this is 11 inches. And I'm going to put a little mark at five and a half. That's about halfway, just a little dot. Now. I want to think about halfway from top to bottom as well. This paper is eight and a half, so I'll need to go past the four to one quarter. And this is the very middle of the paper. From this middle spot, I want to measure out in two directions. What I want to do is go from the four to the two here, put a little dot, and at the very end, put another little dot. In the other direction, too, from the 4 to the 6 and then to the 8. Looks good. Now the next part of the drawing is the trickiest. What we want to do is make an equilateral triangle right here. Now we know one side of every triangle is going to be 2 inches. So what we want to do is imagine just putting a little mark down here, thinking about an equilateral triangle where all sides are the same length. I'm imagining it to be about here, just a tiny little dot. And over here, imagining my equilateral triangle with a little dot right there. Now to make this work, what I need to do is measure. It should be about two inches, so this one wasn't far enough down. I'm going to move that down there. And over here, this should also be about two inches. And look. That's a perfect place for the bottom of our triangle. Same thing over here. Two inches, needed to go a little further down. And over here as well, two inches. And look, that's in a really good place. So these three points are going to make our equilateral triangle. So let's go ahead and draw that. One side, and then another side. And then the third side. Now we're going to be using this triangle to measure everything else out. If we have this good triangle as a beginning, everything else will work out fine. What we want to do now is measure out two more inches this way, put a dot, two more inches this way, put a dot, and then go ahead and draw that solid line. And that's a good start. Next, what we want to do is we want to measure using this angle. We have two inches going from here to here. Let's go ahead and put a dot two more inches out way up here and draw this line. And now what we want to do is do the same on the other side. So here's two inches. And from here, let's go ahead and make two more inches out this way. And you can see what we're doing on top here. We're going to make another equilateral triangle. So, want this line to be parallel to the other one. Let's go ahead and put these here. And from this point, let's go ahead and put a dot two inches out this way. And then from here, two inches out this way. And then, let's go ahead, turn the paper so we can do this well. Let's go ahead and make the line connecting them all the way across. Looking good so far. Let's go ahead and close this shape. We have this point here. Go ahead and connect it with one of our first dots. And on the other side here, let's do the same thing. Close that side. Turn our paper. Close this one. And then close this one. Looks like we're getting some interesting shapes here. Now it's just going to get more interesting now. So looking at this point and this point, let's go ahead and put our ruler 
lining up those two points. Let's draw a line again, two inches, two inches for everything here. Slide the ruler down here so we can look up here and also do another two inches up there. Slide the ruler down to this point and this point again. Two inches is what matters. Two inches here and then down here. Make sure we have it lined up. Looking good. Two inches down there. And then one more time, the far end, this point and this point, making sure it's all lined up. Looking really straight vertical line, two inches this way, and then two inches down here. Looking good. Now turning the paper, let's go ahead and draw a line joining all the bottoms of these lines. And we'll do the same on the other side as well. Let's join all three of these. Looking good. Now, a couple more special lines. The next one we want to do is to draw a line from this corner to the corner over there. And then we want to do the same from here to this point. So we've broken, made both of those into two pieces. All right, a couple more lines. Let's go from here to the midpoint there, joining them together. And I think there's just one last line. A little bit tricky, but look at this point here and this point here. And this time, we're not going to make the whole line. We're only going to make half a line, like this. And that's all the drawing we need to do. Now to better understand the shapes, let's take a look at this. It's the same thing as we've just made, except I've given names to everything. So you can see these two up in the upper corner here, these are right isosceles triangles. They're right triangles because of the right angles. Isosceles because each of them has two sides that are the same. Right isosceles triangle. Over here, these are right scalene triangles. Right triangles again because of their corners, their right angle corners. Scalene because none of their sides are the same. If we go down here, this is a hexagon, six-sided figure. It's a regular hexagon too because all the sides are the same. And all sides the same matter to equilateral triangles too. This is another kind of triangle. This side is the same as this side is the same as this side. This angle and this angle and this angle are all the same too. Equilateral triangle. All three of these are equilateral triangles, and you recognize the square down here. But look over here at this figure. This is a trapezoid. Trapezoids have at least one pair of parallel sides. And then the parallelogram. It doesn't have to have right angles, though it could have right angles, but this has two parallel sets of lines. This line is parallel to this, and this one to this one, and then our friend the rectangle down here, which is also a kind of rectang uh, par parallelogram as well. So what I suggest you do while you play the game is you might have this on the screen to help you play. So what does playing look like? Well, it would be good to have one for you. And our friend the bear might have to move today a little bit. One for you that you can play from. And then another one from a friend. Now it's the game Battleship, so I'm going to show you how to make the dividers in a moment. But for right now, let's just do it this way. I made a simple divider, and this is just to show you how the game works. We'll show you what the real divider looks like in a moment. So what each player does is they place tokens or ships somewhere on their grid here. So red might put a ship here, might put a ship there, might put a ship over here in this corner. You can decide how many ships you want to have. Okay, could be four or five. Blue's going to do the same. And red doesn't know where blue is putting blue's ships, and vice versa, too. So blue's putting ships around the board. And that looks good right now. Four and four. Now what happens on each turn is one player will make a guess about where a ship might be on the other person's grid. So red might say, I'm looking for a ship at a place where 
equilateral triangle and an equilateral triangle meet with a rectangle? Equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle, rectangle. If we look here, equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle, rectangle. This point right here. So looking at that point, blue looks down here and says, miss. But blue also has to say near miss, because a near miss, it means it's just one point away from where the guess was. So blue will say near miss, and that gives red the clue that the ship could be here, 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 or here. So red will make a different guess next time. Blue takes a turn. Blue's thinking about all the possibilities, and Blue says, I would like to know if there's a ship at the meeting of two right isosceles triangles and an equilateral triangle. And looking at the grid, Red has to look at the grid and say, oh, here's two right isosceles triangles, and it's meeting with an equilateral triangle right here. And Red looks at Red's grid and sees that this point has no ship, and red says miss, but also near miss. It's red's turn to make a guess. And red says this time, I'm looking for a ship that's at the juncture of an equilateral triangle, a parallelogram, and a trapezoid. An equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle, there are three of them a parallelogram, so it could be here or here, but I just guessed there, and a trapezoid. So red's made this guess, and when blue looks at blue's grid and sees that there's a ship right here, blue has to say, you sunk my ship, and this ship is no longer in the game. So play will go back and forth this way, where one player is trying to find and sink all the other player's ships, so play will go back and forth this way with each player trying to sink the other person's ships. Remember, you're using the shapes and the names of the shapes to locate where the other ships are, looking at all these junctures. If a ship is on this corner, you might say, I'm looking for a ship that is at a juncture on the hexagon where no other shapes join it. And that might happen down here as well, or at this corner, or this corner. So that is the basic game, and now I'm going to show you how to make the blinds so you can play the game properly. Let's put these pieces away. We'll need one of these boards again in a moment, but we don't need it right now. For this part, you'll need the cereal box. I'm going to take my scissors, and I'm going to cut down one side and it doesn't have to be Cheerios. You could have some other kind of cereal if you want. Okay, so we cut down one side. Now what we want to do is we want to open it up like this and we want to start by taking these corners and we're going to join a couple of these corners to start with. That's why I need the tape. So let's get started with that upper corner. What I want to do with that is I want to join the corners with the tape so that it makes that good solid bend like that. And you'll probably do a better job than me. So that's one corner. Let's go ahead and do the other corner. Let's go ahead and do this corner. Same way. Bit of tape. Okay. Now this is where we get to stand up our blind. You can see what I'm doing right here. I'm going to bend it like this. And I'm going to take this flap and join it. Let's take this flap here and join it as well. So you can see that I'm joining this one. Use a lot of tape if you need to. And let's do the other side too. So a bit of tape. And I'm going to be joining this side here tape. You can start to see that I'm getting kind of a blind like this. Now that's probably good enough. What I like to do though is cut these flaps off. So I'm going to cut this flap off. Maybe use it for another project or maybe another game. 
I'm going to cut this flap off as well. So let me go ahead and cut that one off. All right. Now I have my blind. You can see nice box here. You can see how it has an inside. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my game board on the inside like this. And you can see that with my new blind, I can set it down. And even the bear can't see what's going on. So this is the game Battle Shape. And for this game, we needed to have something to write with. We needed some tape. We needed some playing pieces. We needed to have a ruler. And, oh, cereal box. Make sure you have two of them, one for your friend too. And probably, oh yeah, we need to have a bear. Hope you enjoy this game.